Well, here's another way. This is like the 1956 election, which is you have one party that has a coalition of college educated, aspirational, affluent people mixed with the uh, supermajority of non-white voters. Now, in 1956, that was the Republicans. Now it's the Democratic Party. On the other side, you have working class voters and the supermajority of white middle class and working class voters, which is a lot. And in a state like Oklahoma, it's a lot, a lot. And so the migration of these two parties as they're crossing paths with, with each other 